reason we're here. So that, we all know that. We're happy to have you. We're so happy to have you today. So my name is Eric Lee, and I'm the site director. I have been with the facility. I've been with Avon for about 10 years. So I started out as the manager of receiving, and then I was the manager for pick, pack, and ship. And for about the last five years, I've been the site director. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the facility. So we shipped our first order out of this facility on March 5th, 2009, so a little over nine years ago. So the facility is 800,000 square feet. So to put that into perspective, you can fit the goal post and goal post 14 football fields in our processing area on this facility. We also have over five mile of conveyor that you see starting behind us that you to drop all of your orders throughout the facility that you'll see, you'll see a lot of conveyors. With that, we can process in one ship, or not one ship, one day, so we can do one ship to fix it. It's also fix it one day, 2.8 million pieces in one day in this facility. We were also designed to be a green facility, so this is one of the first 10 green gold facilities in the U.S. So what does LEED stand for? It stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. So with that, we have energy efficient motors throughout the facility, so they will stop if there's no carpets around. We have energy efficient lighting, so LED lighting and energy efficient lighting all through the facility. We also collect snow and rain melt off the roof, and when you leave, you'll see a 2,500 gallon tank, and we use that water to flush the lavatories up front, so we recycle water. Um, so with that, we're gonna get started and talk about how it all starts with my buddy, Joe Trotto. Here we go. Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome to the warehouse, everyone. Thank you for coming. So I have a question for someone in the audience. Can anyone answer how many years this facility's been active for? Okay. I have another question. How many bald tour guides are on this tour so far? Three so far. So later on, when you hear me tell you that I've been with the company for 10 years, I will tell you that's 10 years or one full head of hair later. In most of the picking areas, we have what's called mirror lines. Mirror lines are basically an area where you have multiple rows, and on every row it has the same exact item. So a bus will come into an area, get one of the lines to go down, get it stuck, and get out. Literature slow has two mirror lines. Literature fast has three mirror lines. And this is to help keep the floor up with the fastest thing to see. wide range of product. Again, bubble bath, a new creams, and we make about 70% of the things that you see in a brochure. So we make a lot of things there at Morgan Grove. Morgan Grove prides itself in being agile and being responsive to the customer demand. So if there's an uptick in demand, we need to respond to it. So when we get the raw materials, once I get raw materials, bottles, caps, anything that I need to produce this final product, it takes us about seven days from the moment I got the uptick to the moment that it gets to the branch. So a lot of work goes into it. A lot of the time that's in between those seven days are quality controls and checks and balances that we do throughout the process to ensure that the, at the end of the day, you get a quality product. Some of the things that we've been working on in 2018 is really improving the customer experience. So we've heard you. We read customer complaints. We read return data. We read EMI survey data. We read all the data. Supervisor of our merchandise control. So I am responsible for making sure that all of the inventory are on the shelves so that the pickers are able to pick and fulfill each and every one of your orders. I am also the supervisor over the quality assurance area. Unfortunately, you guys won't get to see the quality assurance area, but I'm gonna kinda of try to tell you guys a little bit about what we do there to give you some insight, okay? So in station lighting, we have station lighting A, B, and C, Pictolite areas. And these are very similar to the Pictolite areas that you saw with Catherine over in Lit Fast and Lit Slow. So I'm just gonna go in a little bit more detail. So this is station lighting A that you see right here. This is Sheila, everybody say hi to Sheila. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so 
Station Lighting A and B have 10 mirrored locations. So we have 10 different locations that have the exact same inventory. Thank you. 